We are Team Thoughtfulness Thursday of St Philomena School and we want to tell you about mental health. Mental health is a phrase we hear a lot in today's world. But what is mental health? Mental health is often misunderstood. Mental health is often talked about in a negative way. Mental health is often painted in a negative light. Don't go near him. He's got mental health issues. The truth is, mental health is something we all have. I'm happy. My mental health is great. I'm struggling. I don't know why, but I just don't feel myself. Everything feels so hard. I'm so excited. I'm meeting my baby cousin this weekend. I'm, I'm so worried. My best friend is not in school today. Who will I play with at break time? My mum gave me my favourite packed lunch. I'm so happy. I'm so sad. I don't understand what we're doing in class and I feel that if I put my hand up, I'll be laughed at. Whether we are feeling happy, worried, excited or sad, these are all normal feelings that form a part of our mental health. Mental health is our feelings, our thinking, our emotions and our moods. Everybody knows how important it is to look after our physical health. But looking after our mental health is just as important. Physical health is often visible, but we can't see mental health before we need to talk about it. Doctors and psychologists, otherwise known as clever people, <coughs> describe mental health as a continuum. Yes, that's right, a continuum. This means our mental health is never stuck in one place. Right now, we may be sad, a little lonely, confused or simply a little down. And all of those feelings are OK, by the way. But with understanding and a little help, we can all find improvement in our mental health very quickly. Talking about mental health and listening <coughs> to others can really help. Being worried can be a small feeling, but it can grow into a big feeling really quickly if we don't do something about it. Whether we are experiencing small feelings or big feelings, knowing that it's okay to not be okay is a good place to start. I can speak to my teacher. I can speak to my mum. <clears throat> I can speak to my brother. I can speak to my sister. I can speak to Mrs. Matthews. I can speak to Mrs. Smith. And I know I can speak to lots of people, my family, my friends and my teachers. I'm so lucky. It is important to know that whatever worries or feelings we may have, it's always good to share how we're feeling. There's, there's, always, there's always someone that can help. Never be scared to ask for help. Sharing our feelings and asking for help is the best way to improve our mental health. We all need to understand that there are simple things we can do to help our mental health and talking to those we trust is a great place to start. But so is doing more of the things we enjoy, like reading a book, riding a bike, watching a movie. Or even enjoy a biscuit. <coughs> oh yes, I love biscuits. <coughs> Doing more of the things we enjoy can be an easy way to improve our mental health. Reading a book or doing a bit of exercise are great examples of coping strategies. That's right. Talking to people or doing things we love are brilliant coping strategies and really will help. So come on team, let's remind everyone. It all starts with knowing that it really is okay to not be okay.